does consciousness actually interact with the physical world in some way? Well, I like the phrase that uh, physicist John Wheeler used in that we live in a participatory universe. Mm -hmm. And so when you start looking deeply at uh, what, what quantum mechanics, which is the most successful physical theory that we have uh, ever developed, it, it has a, a very strange characteristic in it in that there's something about measurement which is not yet resolved in quantum mm -hmm. mechanics, that you, when you measure a quantum particle, it gains properties that it, it had like an infinite number of properties beforehand, and now you measure it and it has one property. And so that's the so-called collapse of the wave function. Mm -hmm. The wave function is an infinite number of possibilities, actually not even probabilities, but possibilities that transition somehow into the actual world that we see. Mm -hmm. And so this is one of the reasons why Einstein didn't like quantum mechanics very much, because you want a physical theory to tell you what is actually happening. Quantum mechanics doesn't tell us what's happening, and it's missing a couple of important things, like how did it turn from an infinite number of possibilities into the thing that I see? And many concluded that there was something that had to be non-physical in order to make the transition then from this mm -hmm. quantum cloud of possibilities into the world that we experience. And so what do we know that's non-physical? The suggestion was there's something about experience, about subjective experience, namely awareness. Does consciousness actually interact with the physical world in some way? And so if it does, then the idea of magic is very straightforward because that is what magic's about, whether it's enchantment or divination or one of the other methods, that it's all about the, the notion of we are participating, that mm -hmm. we're not simply participating passively, but actively in the way that the world actually is shaped. And so it's not much of a step to get from that notion, which again, may prominent physicists have proposed this as a way of thinking about what's going on, that idea that we're participating with physical reality is that close to mm. magical ideas of manifestation. Like, I want a certain outcome to occur. If I am participating with the universe and maybe my intention shapes the way things are. And what our experiments say is, yeah, we even see that in the laboratory. It's a small effect but it's a measurable effect. It looks like the traditional ideas of magic are actually true.